Okay, it's not a brain fart. We're back to control flow. Um, I was trying to declare a variable that didn't exist, so um, basically we just need something that evaluates to true. So we're going to say if 1 is equal to true. Actually, we can say if true is equal to true, we want it to print this is true. Period. Um, make sure to use the end. Call the end of it. Oh, uh, make sure you use double equals because we're not setting it. We're checking the value. Let's actually see if because we're not fully. Or I'm not fully sure if this will work without end. Okay, so we gotta use end at the end of this statement. So here we go. Next lesson. Um, now we're gonna use else. Else. else we want to print this is false we could actually so, say else else I guess not if else all right cool so cool this is true this is false Let's start next lesson we're gonna clean this up on this one put period in so we're gonna use else if so we'll use else if False. So you go false. Print. This. We'll put false is equal to false. And it should work. Oh. Um, no E there. All right, simple enough. We started you off in the editor place the underscores with the correct unless statement codes. Oh, unless I never use unless. Is unless like a while loop? Let's see. All right. So hungry is the boolean variable. I'm just, oops, gonna guess that that saying unless true. Then we have to end it. So this is saying while well, false, because hungry is equal to false, I'm writing Ruby programs. Now else it would be true, and that means it's time to eat. Alright, so next we're gonna be making comparisons. If you have two variables in the underscore is true and is false, replace the underscores with equal equals, not equal, to make is true value which is true and is false. So two is not equal to three, and two is greater than three is false. Oops. So let's see this less than three is huh. no two is greater than three is false and two is Something. It's true. Oh, which is not equal to. My bad. Two is not equal to three. And uh, I read instructions now. Equal equal to. Okay, so we get true and false. Less than or greater than. We set a few variables. So looks like we're just using a little bit of operators here to get us to do our code. We want them all to evaluate to true, so greater than, less than, equal, equal, 
say less than or equal to, and we'll say greater than or equal to. So we just had to change that real quick. Um, all right, we'll show you these comparators, and you get each val that variable true or false depending on what value you expect the expression to return. So let's see. I would say this first test is false because 77 is equal to 77. Next test is true because negative 4 is less than or equal to negative 4. Negative 44 is less than negative 33 is true. And 100 is equal to 1000 is false. Okay, cool. So we'll share this because we want everyone to code as much as possible in life. Alright, so the next thing we have going here are some, looks like and booleans here. So double and sign. Check out the Boolean expression set each variable true or false depending on what value you expect the expression to return. So 77 is less than 78 is true and 77 is less than 77 is false. So the whole thing is false. True and 100 is greater than or equal to 100. So we're going to say that's true. And we're going to say 2 to the third is exactly equal to 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. All right. And 3 to the second power is exactly equal to 9. So this is true. So it should be false. True, true. Cool. Move on to the next one. Set each variable true or false depending on what value you expect. So in here we're going to be using or, meaning only one side has to be correct for this to be equal to true. And it looks like the, I forget the technical name, but the lines, the double lines, is or. So 2 to the third is not the same as 3. Uh, so we're going to set that to true. True. So, alright, 8 is not equal to. They're both true in this case. So, next one false or negative 10 is greater than negative 9. It is false, so they're both false. False or false. False, this would be true. False, false. Cool. Now we're using not. Basically, it's exclamation point that makes whatever it is the opposite. So in this case, not true is false. Not true and not true is false. Wait. Not true is false. Not true and not true is false. 700 divided by 10 is equal to 70. This is not true. So. Not true. Alright, so not true is false. Alright, cool. Last one, and this one we're using, we're going to be combining Boolean operators. This is really good just for if statements, basically. Um, let's see. 3 is less than 4 is true. False. And false and true. Alright, so. True or false, and false or true. I guess this is going to be false if they're not both the same. So this is false. Oh, no, this is true or false, and this is and false or true. Actually, I'm going to say true because they're both true or false, true or false. Uh, so not true, so false and not true. So this is true. So we already have one thing here. And then true or not true or false. True. So I put true. This is false. And false or. I guess if both values are false, it would be false then. Why not? So let me take a second to reflect on what you learned. So we use if, else, else if, we use uh, comparators, 
and rational operators, and then we use Boolean logic, and, or, not. So let's see this next section. Create an if-else statement in the header. Make sure to include at least one if-else. If one is greater than two, print. Oops. One is greater than two. Else, or else, if, print. If stuff else print uselessness. <laughs> Alright, so this should work. Oh, and then of course we have to end it. So cool. There we go. And finally, but not last, let's see, unless. So we use the example hungry equals false unless hungry print not hungry. Why did I keep saying hungry wrong? Alright, let's see here. And then we have to end it. Dare to compare, let's see here. Okay, so this test should be false. So let's get a little complicated. We'll do 2 to the third, which is 8, it is exactly equal to 7. Then we'll do So, actually, we don't need the brackets here because I didn't make it all that complicated. So, in this case, we'll say 2 is greater than or equal to 3, and then here we'll say 5 is less than or equal to 5. So, we should get false, false, true. Cool. The last section billions of booleans. Uh, Alright, so they want us to use and. So, We'll just do something simple. True and true. Use true. We'll say one is equal to two, not true, or one is equal to one, which is true. So that should return true. And then we'll say one is not equal to one. Nice, so we're going to share it, and that completes the control flow of Ruby, all the stuff that's going to help you with your if, else statements, and uh, some of your for loops, while loops, which are unless here. The next section we'll be getting into is, thy, this war, this meaneth war, uh, pretty intense.